Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Welcome, 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 everybody. Good morning. Good, good morning, people of God. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. Yes, it is. Boy, I'm, we're here again today. It's not easy. We're not going to go away, <laughs> but we are here to stay. 150 songs. Yes, yes. And God will help us through all of this. Yes. But I tell you, it has helped Vivian and I because there's a difference in reading the Word as opposed to digging in and studying oh, yes. the Word. Amen. You get the meat of it. Yes. You get the meat of the Word. Amen? Mm -hmm. We are on Psalm 60 today. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Bible. And uh, it looks like this is the psalm that David wrote mm -hmm. when they were in battle. Right? Yes. They were in the midst of a battle. And they were fighting the Arameans from Mesopotamia. And they were fighting the Arameans of Zoab. Different locations, but they're all the same tribe. I would imagine yes. they're a tribe. Are you fighting anybody today? Uh, I'm, I, my, I fight my battles differently. <laughs> <laughs> my battles are not fought in the physical. Because people would be in trouble. <laughs> yes. Yes. Was Let us song, learn from the song saying, This is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight, fight my, my battles. battles. Ooh, I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of joviality here. Let's start with verse 1. Oh God, you have rejected us and cast us off, broken down our defenses and scattered us. You have been angry. Oh, restore us and turn yourself to us again. You have made the land to quake and tremble. You have rent it open. Repair its breaches, for it shakes and totters. Mm. You have made your people suffer hard things. You have made your people suffer hard things. You have given us to drink wine that makes us real and be dazed. Uh, I, I think here David was not too much concerned about how the battle was going. But the fact that, where are you, God? Mm -hmm. Where Restore us, crying out to God, because he knew that God was the one that was going to see them through that battle. Mm -hmm. yes. There are no mm -hmm. battles that God cannot handle. Amen. Amen. The battle, the word of God says the battle is his. Yes. If we give it to him. Yes. If we surrender to him. So just remember, he was looking to God as like, where are you? We need you. Mm -hmm. We need you in this. And in verse 4 it says, But now you have set up a banner for those who fear and worshipfully revere you, to which they may, they may flee from the bow. A standard displays because of the faith. Amen? Amen. In, um, the, the word banner here paints a picture for me. In... Um, in, uh, let's see, uh, the, the banner is something that identifies and unifies under and in Christ. You know, like the United States flag, that's mm -hmm. a banner. Well, people look at it, they know it's the, they know what the, it represents. the United States, and every country <laughs> has their banner. In John 13, 35, it says, By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So that's the banner. Mm -hmm. That is the banner. In, um, in one of the scriptures, I didn't write down where it was, but he said, He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. For love was as a protecting and comforting banner over my head when I was near him. Amen? Mm -hmm. So his banner over us is love. Yes. Whether we go through anything in our lives, anything difficult, or everything is fine, his banner <clears throat> over us is love. Yes. His love is everlasting. His love is unconditional. It is not based on what you do and what you don't do, but his love is always there mm -hmm. because he is love. Yes. Amen? And sometimes God would allow things to come into your lives. Like here, he was crying out, where are you? Mm -hmm. You know, come to our aid. Yes. Sometimes God will step back because 
uh, he want, he brings on tests. Sometimes he allows tests in our lives. Mm -hmm. It's not for him to find out how we're going to react because he already knows. Mm -hmm. He knows the end from the beginning. Yes. But it's for us to know mm -hmm. where we are spiritually. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So let's go on now to verse 5. That your beloved ones may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer us answer us or me now jesus hadn't come yet in the physical sense but who is seated at the right hand of the father jesus save with your right hand jesus is seated at the right hand of the father right now mm -hmm. amen it's a place of great authority yes exactly <clears throat> so we need to remember when mm -hmm. you're going through things jesus is seated on the throne I mean, he, he's seated at the right hand of the Father, uh -huh. and he is aware of everything that you're going through. Nothing escapes him. And Amen. to know that he is the one interceding mm -hmm. to the Father for us. Yes. What a great intercessor, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> that takes me to the verse in Luke 22, 31 and 32. Jesus is speaking here, and he's speaking to Peter, but he's calling him Simon, Simon. Satan has asked to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith would not fail. And when you are strengthened, go back and strengthen your brothers. Notice how he didn't call it Peter, Peter. No. Peter means rock. Yes. Right? Yes. He called him by his name. Mm -hmm. His first. Simon, Simon. Yes. Because we all have our weak moments. We all have our, yes. you know, our moments that... And at that moment is when God steps in, mm -hmm. and He, I can see Jesus when yeah. when when we, in our prayer time, when we are especially praying for somebody else. Yes, exactly. Sometimes, sometimes <clears throat> can we be a little honest? Yes, here? we can. Yes. Sometimes <laughs> our prayers are a little bit selfish. Yes. Lord, give me. I need. Give me. I need. I want. Mm -hmm. But and it's okay because you know we go to the father with our needs yes. okay but when we pray for somebody else mm -hmm. that's an unselfish prayer yes because we get nothing out of that we don't get anything back it's not for us especially when we pray for people that we don't even know oh yes like you know you might see on social media they post somebody's picture mm -hmm. pray for this person that is going through mm -hmm. and you pause at that moment and you pray for that person yes that is an unselfish prayer, and I believe those type of prayers are mm -hmm. heard. Are heard because they're not coming out of the wrong motives. Right. And I think those prayers, I don't want to say they're answered more than the others, but it's like, to me, it's like they are in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, when you pray for your friends, when you pray for people that you don't even know, when you pray for your enemies. Oh, boy. When you pray for people that have done you wrong. Oh, boy, yes. Mm, that's a powerful prayer. Yes. Because you get nothing out of it, only the satisfaction of seeing that prayer answer. Right. And then you're happy. Oh, look, I prayed for such and such person. Yes. And that person, you know, got saved, or that person got healed, or that marriage was restored. Mm -hmm. I, I just love those type of prayers. Yes. When, when it's not for my benefit. And it encourages, should encourage us, because yes. if God has no, is no respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. So if you're praying for someone and God answers, well, if he did it for him, he'll do it Amen. for us. Amen. 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 So I think that, yes, he does, he does, his ear is attentive. Yes, yes. And uh, also, you know, our heart, where is our heart? Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus died, he laid his life on the cross. He died for us, knowing yes. how we would treat him, how we would reject him. But he still did it because uh -huh. out of love. So it's like his banner over us is love. And by this, people will know, you know, that we, uh, that we uh, unify, that we are identified in Christ because of the love. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. So our love will be tested. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Our <laughs> love walk will be tested. Amen. <laughs> we may we may not say it with our mouth, but the condition of our heart and the thoughts of our mind and the attitude, you know, 
<laughs> that's going to be God sees everything. Yes. So we got to work on that, right? Mm, yes, I know I have to work on it. I think we all have to work on it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, verse 6. God has spoken in his holiness, in his promises. God has spoken. Yes. I tell a child some my child something when they were little and they come back at me with the same thing. I have spoken. I've said it. That's it. Mm -hmm. So God has spoken in his holiness, in his promises. I will rejoice. I will divide and portion out the land, Shechem and the valley of Sukkoth, west to east. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is also my helmet, the defense of my head. Judah is my scepter and mm. my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot, reduced to vilest servitude. Upon Edom I cast my shoe in triumph. Over Philistia I raise the shout of victory. So what's he saying? The earth is mine and the fullness thereof. Mm -hmm. The earth is mine and the fullness that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Boy, do I love cattle. And God made them for me. <laughs> he owns everything. He, is, he created it all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Satan has no power to create. Amen. He, he has come to steal, to kill, and destroy. But God says, I have come to, that you should have life and have it more abundantly to enjoy to the full. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what he said. And God has spoken. Yes. So when you find yourself in those moments, you know, it's very important. When we get those thoughts in our mind and they're not thoughts that are coming from God, we need to speak out loud. Mm -hmm. We need to say some things out loud because the enemy cannot hear your thoughts. So we need to speak words like thoughts of condemnation about your past. Oh, no. In the name of Jesus, there is no condemnation to those That's who right. are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. My mind is the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. The old has gone and the new has come. Yes, amen. You got to speak it. Yes, amen. And he'll go. Mm -hmm. And he'll go. He has to go. Mm. Yes. Amen. So, verse 9. Who will bring me, David, into the strong city of Petra? Who will lead me into Edom? You know, God has made provision, Vivian. Yes. God has made provision. Petra is a city. It is a fortified city. It, it, it houses five million people. There's no one living there now. But it is a city that is fortified by, I mean, the height of those stone walls are like wow. 600 feet. Mm. And, and, the, and the, the, the opening is like narrow. But it goes for about a mile in. Wow. And it, it's a place where one third of the Jews will go to flee the Antichrist. Mm. God has made provision. Mm. God has made provision for us. Yes, he has. We, he has <clears throat> given us a way of escape yes. out of every temptation. Amen. Amen. You're being tempted to lie. He's made a way of escape. Mm -hmm. You are tempted to cheat on your taxes. He's made a way of escape. You are tempted to lie to your boss. You, he's made a way of escape. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. God will make a way of escape for us. And he only he also says flee. Yes. Flee. You have to take action. Yes. If you know that there's something, some kind of sin, let's say that you're fighting. Let's say you're an alcoholic, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, you, you are trying not to drink. You know, you threw away all the booze out of your house and they invite you to a party, mm. family gathering. Yeah. But you're not strong enough. You are yet not strong enough to refuse it. You know that's your weakness. Right. Don't go to the party. Very simple. That mm -hmm. means flee. Stay away. Yes. Run. One day you will get to the point that they will put a bottle in front of you mm -hmm. and you will say, I don't want it. Yes. But until we get to that point that we are we are struggling still because mm -hmm. sometimes our deliverance are is quickly yes instance, you know oh, in yes. an instant yes sometimes it's a progress mm -hmm. okay so you you have to we all have to identify what it is that we're battling what is our weakness mm -hmm. what is that sin that is still trying to come back yes and we have to flee Stay away. Mm -hmm. Don't open the door that we know that if we go through, we're going to fall. Yes. Because we're not strong enough yet. 
That's right. Flee. That's right. And there's a scripture that says flee fornication. Yes. Run. Yeah, no, don't just walk away. Don't just back <laughs> just up. Run. Don't just eat. No, you flee. Run. Yeah. Make a decision. No more. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Because with fornication, you're sinning against your own body. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, in uh, let's see. Where were we? Verse 10. Have you not rejected us, O God? And will you not go forth, O God, with our enemies? O give us help against the adversary for vain, ineffectual, and to no purpose is the help or salvation of man. I don't care how strong a man is. I don't care what his resources are to help you. There is no greater help than Amen. what comes from God. <clears throat> he gives above and beyond. Amen. There are things that, that a person can do for you. Yes. To help you out. Right. And that's why God brings those people that you need. Yes. Okay to help you in whatever situation. But, they, but there are things that nobody mm -hmm. can help mm -hmm. us. That is only through God's intervention that we can be free yes. from whatever it is that we're facing. Amen. Amen. That's so true. In verse 12, it says, Through God we shall do valiantly. Through God. Through God. Through God mm -hmm. we shall do valiantly. For he it is who shall tread down our adversaries. He. He will tread them down. Amen. Amen. I want to just real quickly go back to the verse 7 where it says Gilead. You ever heard of that expression, the balm of Gilead? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's in Jeremiah 8.22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Yes, there is. Yes, amen. Amen. <laughs> he is the balm of Gilead. He is our healing. Yes. He is our health. He is our health and our healing. Yes. Amen. amen. He gives us divine health when we follow his instructions. Yes. Amen. Is there no physician there? He is the great physician because his healing goes deep. His healing is not just physical healing. It's mental healing. Yes. It's emotional healing. It is, uh, it, it is soul healing in your soul. Oh, that's so important. Healing oh, of yes. the soul. Because a lot mm. of times healing in the physical manifests because mm -hmm. of a spiritual root of sickness in your mind, sickness in your soul. Mm -hmm. There are spiritual roots yes. to every disease. Yes. But God is good. Mm -hmm. God is good. He is your health. He is your healing. <clears throat> he is your deliverer. He is your banner of love over yes. you. Amen. Amen. So we take great joy in knowing that today. You be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, friends. Have a blessed day. And remember to uh, log into our Cantares online radio app. You can download it for free on your phone. And uh, it's 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. seven days a week, Christian bilingual music. Amen. The Word of God also is preached, and you'll hear the type of music that uh, will have you a happy day, a <laughs> fulfilled day. Yes. A also tropical music if you mm -hmm. like that and uh, it's, it's, it's a music that the whole family can listen to and enjoy amen, amen. yes all right man we love you and we'll see you tomorrow god bless shalom bye, -bye.